On March 29th, two Tampa Bay law enforcement officers were shot in the line of duty. Members of the Violent Crimes Task Force had pulled over a suspect who shot a Pinellas deputy in the shoulder, shot a St. Petersburg canine in the front paw, and then shot himself. For the past three weeks, St. Petersburg St. Petersburg's canine Titan has been recovering at a veterinarian hospital. Over the weekend, Titan finally got to go home, yeah. and we, like you, wanted to know how he was doing. In a story you'll see only on 10 News, Eric Glasser shows you why the short answer is as well as could be expected, but why it could also be a lot longer before Titan is able to rejoin the force. Here, heel, heel. He's come a long way, but still has a long way to go. Ah, easy. Titan, the St. Petersburg Police Department's four-year-old canine, was shot in the front paw during an incident March 29th. Detectives say a suspect shot Titan and a Pinellas County deputy before taking his own life. You never know how something like that will affect the dog, especially. Uh, so it's good that he is uh, back to doing what he likes to do and in a controlled environment. Titan's human partner, Officer Greg Schoen, was finally able to bring Titan home from the vet this past Friday. We have a really strong bond, and it's, it's really nice to have him home and, and see that he's progressing. So far, Schoen says Titan has been acting normal. <laughs> Down. Frisky and occasionally stubborn as ever, ready to work. The hard part now is just keeping him calm and keeping him relaxed um, at home and at work because he doesn't understand that his leg is broken. He doesn't understand why he's wearing the splint. Titan has already figured out how to slip out of his cone of shame. The slightest chance to, to get it off, it comes right off. And he's eaten his way through at least one splint. And we came home and there was just pieces everywhere. And I was like, well, all right, that's not going to work. This week, Schoen plans to start reintroducing Titan to things he's familiar with beyond his home, his canine vehicle, the department's outdoor training facility. But he's got to take it slow because that's the main thing we're worried about is if he jumps and he pushes on his leg wrong, he could snap his bone in half. To give you an idea of how long the road to recovery might be, it could take two months, maybe even twice that, before Titan is ready to tackle the agility course again. Until then, Officer Schoen's priority is to give Titan the best shot at recovery he can. Titan lost about 45% of the bone in the area where he was shot. His doctor says it's now starting to grow back. The x-ray says that it's healing, which is good. So we're hopeful that it's going to continue to heal in, in a timely fashion. Yeah, boy. But it's not enough to simply heal. Schoen knows if he and his four-legged partner are going to team up to catch bad guys again, Titan's got to be able to perform at that level. Leave not leave it. The good news is he's right on track. Shown the doctors, even Titan himself, seemingly determined to make that happen. Happy that he's home, right, buddy? Yeah, that's a good boy. He's like, like any other great. officer. He wants to get right back out <laughs> there and his, get back to work. I love his run. Yeah, he's excited. Oh. So Officer Shone says that it's also possible with Titan's paw being in a cast so long that he's probably going to need some kind of physical therapy as well. We'll let you know how he does on his progress. And by the way, we also checked on the Pinellas deputy who was shot that same day. Sergeant David Strang is not back at work either, but he too is said to be recovering well. So great news, news on both of them. Mm -hmm. yeah.